Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video on how I use this uh, Hydra Flash Thermoactive Mask. Um, this is a really awesome conditioner because it only really needs to sit in for 90 seconds. And uh, it has collagen, coconut and argan oils, and sesame oils. So these are really good oils. Um, so anyway, but like I said, my favorite thing is that you only have to put it in for 90 seconds. So... For a dog like Blackjack, I really, like, this is probably even a lot. Like, if you can get, get like, a dime size amount, that's perfect for a dog like this. Now, he's got, like, a little bit of pH balancing shampoo on. I like to put the conditioner over it because I feel like sometimes the conditioners can be a little too heavy on hair like this. Some people don't even like to condition a dog with curly hair. He's a Bichon Poodle mix. Um, but I do, like... A little bit of slide to their hair and I feel like this conditioner is perfect so I put it on Alexa set a reminder for 90 seconds to rinse the conditioner um. okay I just wanted to uh, make sure that she got that so um, I do like to use the Alexa or if you have like one of those little kitchen timers and let it sit for the full 90 seconds it's not very long um, a lot of times I'll yell to Alexa, tell her what I want her to do, and then I'll um, fill up more shampoos or, you know, make do some busy work real quick to kind of make the time go by. If, especially if you're having a busy day and you feel like you don't have the time to sit there and wait for it to sit. Um, that's why this conditioner is so great. Um, I do have another one by them that I really like using on terrier type hair. Um, this is the Intense Repair Perfect List Mask. And it does say for straight coat pets. That's why I like it on the terrier hair or like schnauzers that have that really dry, stiff hair. Um, this does have keratin in it um, and it helps to balance the pH, which is really good. You wanna balance the pH, especially if you're using a harsh shampoo. Um, you wanna finish by using a pH balancing shampoo or conditioner to bring their hair back down to the pH. This will keep it soft and healthy. Um, so these are my two favorite conditioner is by them thus far. I would say if you only had the money to do the one conditioner, I would definitely do this one, the 90 seconds. It's just amazing. Um, and I use this on a lot of different coat types. Um, whereas, like I said, with this one, I use it on specific coat types. But um, I just think this is a really great product. That's our timer. Um, and I mean, you can feel it right away. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, it smells fantastic. Like, literally one of the best smelling products I've ever used. Just, like, I kind of, like, maybe one day I'll do like a, a trial and try it on my own hair and see what it does for me because I really, really like it on their hair and I'm kind of wondering like what it'd do to a human's hair. Um, because it's a really light product because my hair is like, not very thick so I can't use super heavy conditioners but I use this on you know dogs that wouldn't really need a heavy conditioner and it, it's fine it's perfect so maybe I can do that one day that'd be kind of fun but yeah so I'm gonna rinse this really thoroughly and then I've got one more product that I want to show you guys um that I use in combination with this one and it just makes their hair really soft and tangle free and it speeds up your blow drying um, and detangling process. With the combination of these products, I can, um, instead of sitting there and brushing out every tangle, most of them will just blow straight out with the blow dryer. So these are just like really, really awesome products. But um, I'm gonna finish rinsing them out and I'll be right back to show you my other, my other favorite. Okay, so the other product I wanted to show you is this Ultra Dew Matting and Finishing Spray from Hydra. Um, I believe you can use this on, let's see. I think you can actually use this on wet or dry hair. I use it on both, but yeah, since it's a finishing spray, it's not really saying, but I'm assuming since it's a finishing spray that it's fine to use on both. Um, so what I do, I cover his little eyes and just make sure, um, but I like to get his little ears and then I just spray his body really good. Just 
especially um, this back end. This is where he he chews. So sometimes he gets mad and back here he has some right now. Um, and then I take my two Chris Christensen brushes. This is the medium size. This is the large size. Um, and just in combination, I use them both and just brush through. Now this is the time I'm going to be getting any mats out. So he does have a couple because like I said, he chews. Um, he is on a every two week schedule. So it's never bad. It's always stuff, you know, sometimes I do have to pull out this dematting rake um, and kind of loosen up the mat. And then I just brush it through with the Chris Christensen. Um, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect when you're doing it right now because when you go in and do your hand drying, um, anything you miss, you'll be able to see then. Um, so I'm just going to brush him out and dry him and he is good to go. Oh, and one more thing before I go, another tip that I use for the Hydro products, their colognes are my favorite on the market. Let me show you my two favorites. This is the VIP. This is what I use on the male dogs. And then for the girls, I use the Forever Candy. The Forever Candy is probably my favorite. It's like, it's exactly what you'd expect. It's very fruity and just really nice. But since he's a boy, I'll be using the VIP. Now, I blow dry him with the high velocity dryer. And once he's at that like, you know, like 85%, maybe still a little damp around his head or whatever, when I'm gonna switch to the big overhead dryer where I'm gonna hand fluff him. But before I do that, I spritz him down with the cologne and then I dry it into his hair. And I've just found that that helps the cologne stay in their hair for a lot longer. So they smell good longer. So your clients feel like they're getting a better value because their dogs smell good for so long. So that's the last little tip that I wanted to give you guys that um, pertains to the Hydra products that I use. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried Hydra out, they're really fantastic. Um, I have loved every single thing I've used from them. They have a sample kit. I think it's got like five or six products in it. And it's really good if you just want to try out a bunch of things all at once. The sample kit has um, this dematting spray as well as the conditioner that I just showed, that 90 second mask. Um, so if you're interested in those two products, but you don't want to commit to buying the big bottle, definitely try that sample pack first because it's really awesome. And not a lot of places do sample packs. So that's just, to me, it's really helpful. It is like 30, 40, you know, I probably should look at the price before I said that. I, I don't remember. You do have to pay for it. It's not like you just get samples sent to you. Um, but it's worth it. It's a good trial size. Um, and it's concentrated so you can make like more out of it, you know, but anyway. I just wanted to show some of my favorite Hydra stuff um, because I think they're really great products and um, I've been slowly switching over most of my products to Hydra. So I wanted to show you how I use their stuff because sometimes you just see this product, you see everybody likes it, but like you don't really know how they're using it. You know what I mean? Sorry, I need to brush this through instead of just letting it sit on his hair. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to kind of show you what I do. Um, and with every breed like this, like once I spray their leave-ins on, I do go ahead and brush them through. So this is what I would normally do. Um, and I just find whenever I do things this way, it makes my life a lot easier. And I know I've had several new groomers reach out to me and they want more videos on, you know, kind of the back to basic stuff, like they're trying to learn. So um, most people start with bathing, so getting the hair really clean and dried really well, those are some of your most important things when it comes to grooming. Um, that's where you really want to put your time in. Uh, you don't want to have a dog that wasn't bathed and dried properly and then you're trying to do a haircut. It's just going to make your life so much difficult. Your groom's not going to look as good. Um, so knowing these steps to make your life easier, it's really going to help. Um, so yeah. Knowing how to use your products and using them in the right combination will make your life so much easier. So I hope this helps you guys, um, especially for my new groomers out there that have been asking for more tutorials. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.